Well, the Antichrist is a counterfeit. He is a false Christ that is going to rise up. It's a spirit of Satan himself that will embody a man. Ask the pastor. Who or what is holding back the Antichrist? Pastor Joseph. This is a great question. I would read um, Matthew 24, uh, 14. It says, and this gospel, and that's the gospel of Jesus Christ, the good news of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So I would say the Holy Spirit and the church, you know, we are called to preach the gospel to everywhere, into every creature and every tribe, every nation, we are called to preach Jesus. And the Bible says right there clearly that the end will not come until that takes place. Wow. Pastor Mark. Good, good, uh, Pastor Joe. Uh, it's a good question as, as well, and I've taught this many times out of 2 Thessalonians, so we can turn there, 2 Thessalonians 2, uh, and let's go here to verse 5, and I'll start reading. Don't you remember that when I was with you, I used to tell you these things, and now you know what is holding him back, the Antichrist, so that he may be revealed at the proper time. Uh, for the uh, secret power of lawlessness is already at work, uh, but the one who, is ho who now holds it back will continue to do so till he's taken out of the way. Uh, this, there's a, some different interpretations of this particular scripture. And uh, we, you know, when we start to look at this, we understand what's holding back the Antichrist. Well, the Antichrist is a counterfeit. He is a false Christ that is going to rise up. It's a spirit of Satan himself that will embody a man. And the, 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 uh, the, let's call it the anti-power, the anti-anointing mm -hmm. uh, is going to be prevalent in these end times. The second Thessalonians is an end time scripture. The thing holding him back would be the genuine power of the Holy Spirit in the church. Because we have the, the antichrist, we have the anti-anointing, and we have the anointing, yes. the real deal, yes. the power of God uh, unto salvation, the power of God that is holding back the forces of darkness, even right now, as God's plans come together at this end time and they culminate. And I believe we're, we're right there. We're in the birth pains of this. And the church needs to rise up. The church needs to pray. You know, the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. The violent, and I'm not talking force in a forceful, physical way. I'm talking spiritually, yes. that we're pa fasting, that we're praying, Hallelujah. that we're praying in the spirit, that we're taking a hold of the garment of Jesus Christ and we're holding back the false prophets and the false apostles and the, the for lies that are being fed through uh, so many different things right now. Listen, the Holy Spirit is working in the church to do just that. And at the proper time, because this leads to the rapture of the church, the church will be taken out of the way. That's what it means. It'll be forcefully, positive, forcefully taken up to heaven to meet Jesus in the air. Wow, wow, thank you for that. And uh, just to answer your question, some of the points that Pastor Mark touched on, who's holding back the anchor? You are, by fasting and praying and believing in the power of the true one we serve. Pastor David? We are holding him back through the spirit of the living God. It, in the end, it is the spirit of the living God. For, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. He's talking about people that have died. Are they going to miss it? No. He says that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. For if we believe in Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first, that we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. We worry so much about what's holding him back, but I'm wondering what's holding us back. What be God is, is coming for us. Jesus is coming for us and that should be our concern. Don't worry about him. He'll come when he when God determines it's his time. But when will it be your time? Wow. 
I don't know what else there is to be said off of that. It's getting hot in here in the studio. I know you feel it at home as well. We got to take a very small break. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life, so you can email your prayer requests to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.